Okay, so this is the first video in the modification videos that I've been banging on about for so long now. We're gonna have a look to see what the first ones are that have come, so stay tuned. Hey up guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you've just seen from that little intro, we're gonna be looking at the first mods that have been done to my GT86. Now the ones that you're about to see are very important to the way the car feels and also the way the car handles. And hopefully by the time that I come around to show you, you would have guessed what they are. So some of you guys know that I want to get into some time attack, hill climb, sprints, and that sort of thing with the GT86, with it being such a capable car. But there's a couple of things that I needed to upgrade first. Now, if you're familiar with the GT86, and even if you're not familiar with the GT86, you will know that it comes on Prius tires. Yes, Prius tires. And since I've owned the GT86, I've had a couple of scary moments on the motorway and whilst driving around with it sliding about so much. Yes, I do like drifting, but I don't like to do it when I don't want it to do it. So some of you guys know that I want to get into some sort of motorsport with the GT86, whether that be time attack, rallies, sprints, and things like that. So there's two things which I have upgraded, the wheels and the tires. Two things that make a massive difference to the car. So the wheels offer up a different look depending on what style and size you go for, and the tyres offer up a lot more grip in terms of cornering and also if you want to drift as well. I just want to give a massive shout out to Demon Tweaks. Now they have been very very supportive throughout the ordering and the delivery of the actual products. Not just these ones but others that are on the way as well. It came in roughly two weeks which isn't too bad and the tyres came on the wheels as well. So if you are wanting something for your car go check Demon Tweaks out. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description. They have got a massive online shop which covers everything from race motorsport wheels tires anything you can possibly think of and if you're over in the northwest of England go pay them a visit because they are over that way as well just a quick note for all the new viewers here welcome to the channel if you do enjoy this content remember to like and subscribe keep up to date with what I'm doing but let's have a look at the wheels and the tires some background as to the specs of the standard wheel so the 17 inch by 7 inch width by ET47 I think it is don't quote me on that but it's something ridiculous and now the specs of the bowler so the 18 inch by 8.5 inch width with an ET of 40 so what does that mean then so we're just going to walk over to the car I'm going to give you a bit of a first person view as to the wheels and the tires and talk about why I chose what I chose so I actually received these wheels on Thursday, got them fitted on Friday at home, so they went on pretty quickly. But we're just going to talk about the ET for a second. So as I just mentioned to you guys, the ET of these bowler wheels is 40 as opposed to 47, and they're a little bit wider as well. So as you can see from this, they do poke out ever so slightly, but when I get the next mod done, it's going to bring that back in just a tiny little bit, just to tidy it up a bit. So as I'd mentioned, I'd gone for the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyre and what I have actually got that in is 225-40-R18. So they are a little bit meatier than the ones that were on there already. Um, I was worried about the stretch a little bit but there's a tiny amount of stretch but the Michelin Pilot Sport 4s tend to be quite durable with that respect um, but I must say there has been a massive difference since fitting them. So we're just going to take a quick walk around the car so you can see it in its entirety. As you can see they are gloss bronze so it adds a little bit of colour to the previously monochromatic look. Um, I must say the difference in having these tyres on versus the standard ones is massive and I can't fault them whatsoever. So all good reviews so far but there is one downside that one downside is weight so I decided to weigh the stock tires and wheels against the new wheels and tires and they did come in at about 1.5 to 1.7 kilograms heavier 
Now the difference, the variation in that is simply because it did have different tyres on there on both sides of the car, so the front and the back, so there may have been a bit of tread wear or something along them lines. But this is the second car that I've had Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on and I cannot fault them as a tyre. I'm not paid to say this by Michelin but they are seriously a fantastic tyre and the grip is unbelievable. If you've driven a GT86 and you know how they do act in the wet, that has so much grip in the wet now, I'm tempted to say it has more grip in the wet on them tires than it did in the dry with the original tires. The way that thing goes around corners now is insane. Now, as I mentioned a bit earlier in this video, I do want to get into some sort of motorsport style event, whether that be hill climbs, sprints, or time attack. So I've actually been doing a little bit of research on what you need to do to be able to get into time attack. So the things that you need is a non-race B competition license, I believe it is, which is something that you don't need a medical for, and also you don't need to do a test for, so you can just apply for it and get it within reason. So what does that mean then? So I'm not going to go storming into time attack as soon as possible, simply because the car isn't ready, I am not ready, and I haven't got the funds behind me to be able to go and fix it at the moment. But going into 2020, what we are going to be doing is taking part in the Toyota Sprint Series, and also potentially time attack UK. So as you can imagine, it's a very, very exciting time to be me and also a very exciting time for you guys to be part of the channel. So what's next for the car then? So as the wheels and tyres came last week, I did actually have a catch up with Demon Tweaks as to where the rest of my order is. So there's one thing that's already in the garage which is waiting to be fitted. I don't know when that's going to be fitted, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. But there are also some things on the way as we speak. I'm expecting a delivery tomorrow, although I did get an update from the Demon Tweak system saying it won't be here until the 8th of August. So there's a couple more things to go on to the car that I need to get fitted, and of course I'm going to take you guys there with me. Once all that is done and fitted onto the car, I'm then going to go down to either Fensport or Tuning Developments to get a remap for it. Now, some of you guys will sit there and say, well, it's pointless remapping a naturally aspirated engine because you're not going to get any gains. And although there is some truth to that, I must say that there is a massive torque dip in the GT86 around 3,500 revs. Now with the parts that I've got coming with a remap, that should eliminate it, giving me a little bit more torque in that mid-range. So after all them parts have been fitted and once the car has been remapped, I'm then going to start looking into aerodynamics. So by aerodynamics, I mean I'm going to look at a spoiler, I'm going to look at a front splitter, I'm going to look at a rear diffuser and potentially a flat underfloor depending on how far I want to go with it. Aside from that, I may get some aesthetic mods or some things just to make it look a little bit better visually, whether that be a wrap or part wrap. I know I've been speaking about getting the roof done gloss black, so I'll have to look into that as well. But one thing I must say is that car is going to be epic in the next couple of months. So although it's been a relatively short video, I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with what I'm doing. But from me and the GT86, we'll see you next time.